Hello there everyone, this is Scott Welsh and this is the Beating the Market YouTube video and it feels like something weird is going on. I mean, that background is a different color and what day is it again? I There is something strange going on and I know what it is, it's Wednesday. Now of course you can watch a YouTube video on any day of the week, but I'm telling you right now, as I sit here in my recording studio in Burbank, California, not true. I'm not in Burbank, but all the television shows are there. It. I am recording this video on a Wednesday. Now, I have been on a Thursday for 68 years, which is interesting because I'm only in my late 20s for quite some time now. So, why are we on Wednesday? Hmm. I'll talk about that in a second. That's one of the big things. Number two, we're going to talk about there is a new process of sending out these videos and sending out my emails. We will talk about that in great detail too. And then we're gonna learn a system today. We're going to go to the charts and figure out what the Keltner Channel Breakout System is. And we're gonna look at it on Forex. And there's a reason for that too, right? All right, let's get right to it. First of all, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Now I am a big believer in routine. I eat the same thing every day. I try to get up at pretty close to the same time each day. There is research after research and study after study that shows when you have a routine, you are more creative. What? I know it seems backwards. You and I can talk about that some other time. Just know that it's true. Furthermore, routines build up trust. I want to be a, a voice on the internet that is trustworthy, which is nearly impossible, but I have impossible dreams. I want to say stuff that's true, and I want to back it up, and I want you to have a place where you can go where someone's not trying to sell you, that it, you, can, you can just get information, because that's what I want for myself. I would love to go to a place where we can talk about systems truthfully, where someone's not trying to do a special marketing trick. So I'm a big believer in routine for a number of reasons, but mostly because I want to be like, hmm, there I am every week. I'm there on Thursdays. And now I'm here on Wednesday. So I really fought hard not to do this video on Wednesday. However, Wednesdays work better starting this week, September 5th. 2018. That is the year, right? Okay. Why is Wednesday better? Because I have asked my email list, which is a nice size email list. I've, you know, thankfully been able to build up over the years. And I sent out an email last week because I love to talk about trading systems. I love it so much. I subscribe to magazines. I watch videos still. I am a sucker for trading systems. I love them. Even if I don't trade them, I love them. As a tennis coach for over 20 years, I have a way I teach tennis. I love watching other people play tennis because even if they're wrong <laughs> or even if they do something that's inefficient or something I don't agree with, I learn. It's exciting to watch strokes and it's really exciting to learn trading systems. Why? Because anything you learn from a trading system might make you money. Huh? That's pretty cool. So it's a long story. I'm sorry for yabbering on. What's yabbering? But I'm sending out tons of research. I've been sitting on research. Sometimes it's just basic research. Sometimes it's more intricate. I've been sitting on research for quite some time, and it's time to share it. Like, what am I saving it for? Like, am I just, I can sit around and have meetings with myself or my trading partner slash life partner, Jill, right? We're not married. What do you call it? You're not married, but you're basically married. What do you call that person, right? At my age, I don't want to say girlfriend because that sounds like I'm 15, but it's not wife, because we're not married. We're not gonna get married, probably, ever. So what do you call that? Anyway, life partner. I don't wanna just talk to me or her, like, what am I doing with all this research? What if I started sending it out for free? What if maybe it helps someone else, right? Isn't that the point? You get stuff, you learn stuff. True, you help yourself, but then you help others, so anyway. I am starting to upgrade the amount of times I email. I got permission from my email list. It was overwhelmingly positive. Hooray, thank you for all that. They want systems research. So starting on Wednesdays, at least for now, we might even upgrade it again. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm sending out research. Okay, well, we need a video because it's hard to explain a system over email. So if I do the video on Thursday, but my first system's on Wednesday, that doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? I want to get the video out on the same day as the first email of the week comes out. Uh, and if we switch, if I go Tuesday through Friday or Monday through Friday, then I'll switch the video again. But I want the video to come out in conjunction with the email. That's why we moved. Wow, that was a long story. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Right. Now, what will be in this Wednesday video? We know we have people who have loved the Thursday video for years. You know, well, some people love it. Maybe someone loves it. Anyway. I will describe in this Wednesday video, I will take the system of the week and sometimes we'll do a different system every week. Then we'll switch the instrument. Sometimes I'll change systems. I take requests. I got a ton of requests via email over the weekend about systems, day trading, long-term, blah, blah, blah. Feel free to email me that anytime if you have requests. I am a piano man. But on the Wednesday video, I'll describe the system in detail. I just won't give the settings though, okay? The reason why is those are all going to be in the emails, right? And I don't want to do five videos a week. Maybe I will, but at least for now. So I'm going to do the overall system on Wednesday, get you a feel, get you an understanding, and then you can go to the emails, how do you know how to trade it, and you can plug in all the settings or take a look if you wish. That's my plan. Is it a terrible plan? Well, let me know if it's stupid, because right now it seems super smart to me. And in this Wednesday video, we'll go over the exact entries, we'll go over the rules, I'll show the performance reports, I'll show the statistics, and all of that good stuff. And then, of course, I may add on a few things um, that make the video so, so, so special, okay? Again, my hope is that the combination of the email with the bunch of settings and the bunch of research, combined with the visual of seeing the system online in a picture, I think it's gonna be great. Again, you can always let me know if it's terrible. All right, let's talk about this week. We're gonna go to a basic indicator breakout, specifically the Keltner channel breakout. Now I've talked about that via the email newsletter and on YouTube before. We're coming back to it. I am honestly a little shocked at how well the Keltner channel breakout works with very, very little uh, research or tweaking on my part, seriously. I've, I've known about Keltner channels, but I've really neglected them for almost my whole trading life. This might be extraordinarily stupid, right? We talked about the Keltner channel breakout on the ES, futures contract. Let's talk about it in Forex. First, what is the Keltner channel breakout? Well, the Keltner channel was based on the fact that normal, air quotes, see my air quotes, Normal prices should stay within these bands. So if price isn't going anywhere, if nothing's going to break out, it'll stay in between the bands. Bum, 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 back, bounce back and forth. Nothing really big happens. But when price breaks out of the Keltner channel, something has changed. In the past, whatever, 20 bars or X amount of bars, it's not normal anymore. Equilibrium is over. And once it gets out of Keltner channel, that philosophically signals that price is now ready to move, that sleep time is over. That's the philosophy. That's it. Keltner channels were a basic default indicator that was built to say, huh, this is normal. If it's outside the bands, it is not normal. All right, now go back to the YouTube or the emails, and you know we talked about the ES. And that looked very, very great. Beat the market. It worked extraordinarily well. But remember what I mentioned the emails I got this weekend? I emailed my list, everyone on it, and I got feedback and over 63% trade Forex or are most interested in Forex. Crazy, right? Like 21% futures and a little bit less for stocks, which I thought was backwards. I thought everybody liked stocks better. but my people, my people, my list likes Forex by an extraordinary amount. Well, that's not really extraordinary, but 60 over 60%. So we are going to take that Keltner channel and see if it works on Forex. Okay, we're going to do the entry and then we'll look at the stats. All right, first in words, are you ready to read? 
we're going to use the pound dollar. Why? Because it's one of the most famous currency pairs. What are the big three in Forex? Do you remember? We've talked about it before as far as volume and popularity, which volume kind of means popularity, does it not? We've got the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen. Those are the big three. So I tend to look at those first. The others are a little more esoteric and on the fringe. So big surprise, we started with one of the big three. Oh, let's see what the entry is. Price becomes abnormal and it closes outside the channel. Ah, oh, that's a signal. Then that's not good enough though for our system. We want to place our entry one tick above the high of the bar that closed outside. So in Forex, what would be a pip? One pip above the high of the bar that closed outside. Then we're going to exit. <laughs> That's complicated. Uh, either on a profit target. So you set your profit target at X and you put in a stop loss at Y. Does it have to be X and Y? Could they both be X? But there are many other things you can do with it. And that's one of the things we'll talk about on Wednesdays. If you're a discretionary trader, you could take this powerful entry. You could be moved by the research that I'm showing you and say, maybe I do want to get involved with this, but I'm going to do my own entry. I'm not going to do Scott's stupid simple entry. Please do that. I want you to make money. My happiness is dependent on you emailing me, tell me telling me you made money. That's the only thing that makes me happy, especially since what happened at the US Open the other day, which I'm still desperately um, dark and sad and crying. Okay, so we're gonna one tick above, we're gonna exit on a profit or a stop loss, but you could do a timed exit mm, or a timed exit with those two. You might wanna put a trailing stop on it. If you know it breaks out, if you look at your currency pair or whatever you're trading, you say, hmm, this does work. It's a solid entry, but I'm just gonna trail my stop manually do that. I think that's viable. You could do an indicator exit, like when it crosses back down. Let's say you're going long. When it crosses back down below, let's say the eight simple moving average, right? Something that, that tracks price pretty closely. Maybe you get out then. That would be a great way to finish this off. Or if you have your own exit, then do that. Use this Keltner channel breakout as a trigger and then manage it yourself. What I'm here to tell you is the Keltner channel is showing itself to be a powerful indicator or slash system that you can do whatever you want with it. It might be a starting point. I'm just telling you, I'm looking at it and all this stuff and it keeps coming up roses. I don't get it. I really, it really puzzles me, but the philosophy is sound. So I guess I do get it. Okay, moving on. All right, here's a picture. So we don't have to go to the charts. Here's the pound dollar daily chart. Okay. This is in 2018, you probably can't see it, so 2017 slash 18. As you can see, now we're only doing a long entry, long, long, long only, long, long, long only, okay? Price is rolling around, breakout, I didn't see that, isn't that cool? Price is rolling around inside the band, ah, oh, didn't close, ah, oh, didn't close, ah, oh, didn't close, hi, close. You probably can't see it, but trust me, then you put your entry sitting in the market at one pip above the high, and then you're in automatically. Like you could set this a day ahead of time and then not have to do anything else. I mean, how easy is this system? It can't possibly work. Well, you can see that, oh, it doesn't work. It goes back into the Keller channel. Oh, but though it comes back outside. So you could have exited here for a profit. Good enough for me. And then it rolled back towards, now we're in 2018, rolled back to the Keltner channel, and then holy moly, right? if you had stayed in, you could have trailed your exit all the way up to here and gotten out somewhere here. I mean, do you see? You don't have to just sit around and wait for me to tell you how to exit. You can make your own way of exiting, right? But on my particular um, system that I programmed by with a robot, so this is a robot trading it, that's why you see the cyan lines, this took your profit target there, and then it took another profit target there, and then it was waiting for another entry. So there you go. Okay. Let's actually go to the charts. Can we see it? Good, I think we can see it. Do you want me to scrunch that down a little bit? No, let's not. Let's actually expand. All right, this is the exact same part of the chart. You can see that here's 2018 down here. All right, so it's the exact same thing we just saw on the slide. Here it comes, didn't close, didn't close. There, there's your close, okay? Right? Do you want to see it on candlesticks? 
Or if you like that better, maybe space it out. Maybe that's easier. I don't know if that's easier. What do you like, candlesticks or something else, right? So there is an entry, it's not exactly the same entry. Do you want me to go back to the same entry? I will do that for you. See, oh, I saw some losers. It does lose sometimes. I can't believe that some trading systems actually lose. Who made up a system that, I, oh, another loser. Ooh, this must not work at all, right? Oh, did I miss it? Anyway, I think I just did a terrible thing. Let's just go back to the entry right here, all right? You can see what I mean, all right? Here's a close, right? Closed outside. There's the high. You set it one pip above, and then you get in, right? So that's exactly the same as what we talked about. I tried to make it easier for you, and I may have made it more confusing, but I apologize. That is exactly the same entry as this. It closed outside, you put it one tick above. Closed outside, one tick above. And then you set your profit target or you set your stop loss. You saw both, all right? So hopefully that wasn't confusing. I think we're okay though, right? All right, let's go back to the slides, okay? Now, I tested for a profit target and I tested for a stop loss and that's it. No discretionary about it. You can do whatever it is you like, but in the emails, this is what I'll be talking about. I'll be talking about a definite profit target, numerical profit target, and a definite stop loss, okay? So if you get your email, um, you'll be able to get that. It is significant though, as you can see on the chart. And if you use the stop loss and the profit target that I am talking about, from 2001 to 2018, trading 0.5 lots, see that max shares contract? So this is not even a full lot on a hypothetical $10,000 account. So it's just hypothetical, right? This is all just, we're all just talking here, trying to come up with some information that will help. 20,800 of profit, your max peak to peak was minus 69.20, close to close was merely 5,500, so maybe trade this on a bigger account if that's too much risk for you. Profit factor looked good, percent profitable looks good. Total number of trades, 106, which on a daily chart, pretty significant, and that's over 16 years. That makes money, and guess what? That's almost identical to the market if you had just bought and hold an index fund for that period. Now, we're gonna talk about it a million more times, but I have met zero people in my life to date that buy and hold index funds, right? I've met zero buy and hold successful investors. I'm not saying there aren't out there. I just want to meet some of them because I don't know any. So if you're talking about buying and holding versus this, of course I want systems to be buy and hold. But buy and hold, as far as I'm concerned, may not even exist. Like there may not, who out there has held an index fund from 2001 to 2018? The phone lines are open now. Call in and tell me who's held that. Regardless, this barely beats the market by any sort of standard measure. So it's legitimate on Forex daily chart. This would barely beat the market-ish. And if you can't buy and hold, if you buy and sell stuff at all, then it kills anything you're doing with an index fund, blah, 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 okay? In other words, it's worth talking about, right? Okay, the bottom line is this. You've seen the entry, you know the system we're gonna be talking about this week. Bottom line is this, get on the email list. I'm gonna be sending out so much stuff. Right now, there's only gonna be one YouTube video, but there's gonna be at least three emails, all with changes to this system. So it'll be this system on a different currency pair, this system on a different instrument, this system with different setting, right? It's gonna be all sorts of stuff, hopefully simple, easy to read. It's free, okay? You don't have to pay to be on the email list. All right, I'm gonna, there might be some changes to the email, but not for pay, right? I might change the format, but it's free, okay? It's free. So I just want to have a place where we all can go and talk about systems, okay? I would love for you to be able to read the emails and say, hmm, okay, let's do that. I like the research. Or like I've said a hundred times already this video, take your entry, believe in that, and then manage it exactly as you like. Of course, I build robots to do the testing. You can always just say, heck with it. I'll just buy a robot. It won't be too expensive, blah, blah, blah. You can do that. It's not a sales pitch though. Um, I'm just throwing out ideas that are 
honestly research that maybe you can use, okay? I just want to be a part of a group of traders who make money and can discuss research honestly, right? And I wanna talk about systems, I'm selfish. I wanna talk about systems and I wanna have a place where we all can go and talk about it. All right, that's all for this week. Um, for right now, this will probably change. You can join that email list by going to scottwelsh.me. There's a button on the front. Might be revamping my website. It'll still be easy to go to a website and just click and get on the email list. Or heck, you can just email me at scottwelsh at gmail.com and say, put me on the email list. You don't have to say that in weird voice. Um, but right now, that's my website, Twitter, uh, YouTube. You're here. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And that's it for this week. The Calder Channel Breakout System on Forex. You've got the entry. Now look for the emails if you want my settings or use it as you see fit. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.